Good morning, you guys. Welcome to Classroom Setup Day 5. All right, I started out just kind of trying to clear my desk off. Also, all of those fell down almost, so I'm gonna have to hot glue them on there. I'm just out of the glue sticks. But you guys, my whole desk drawer just fell off my desk. So we're gonna attempt to try and put it back on. I have no idea how. We fixed the desk. Now I'm just gonna put all this stuff back in there a little neater than I had before because it was pretty messy. All right, my desk for the most part is clear. I have my rings out because I think I'm gonna do it, my little flip chart thingy. Um, but it looks good, fix the desk. That's gonna be hung up down there. But And then over there is not exactly organized yet, but we're getting there. I'm going to get distracted and fill in like the first day of school and stuff. I've cut out my little calendar flip chart thing and that's gonna go up here. I think I'm just doing August, day, and then the year. I don't think I'm gonna do the days of the week. I think it looks so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the days and the year. I got them in number order. I did spray like the matte stuff on here. So it isn't as bad as it normally would be, but I was running out of the matte stuff. So it's not as thick as it typically is, if that makes sense. Um, but I just like to line up the holes so that it'll all be even. I had just enough of this side binder rings or whatever those are called because all my other ones were these little bitty ones and I heard that the little bitty ones you don't want to use. I don't know why. I think they like makes the, I have no idea. It's easier to flip them, I guess. Here it is. I'm thinking now that maybe they said to use a small one on that so that way it would stay because it's kind of like turning. I don't know how to avoid that. So if y'all know, let me know. I'm gonna try to do a smaller ring for that one and see if that helps. My only worry though is that like this is the one I'm gonna be changing every day. So I want it to be like easy to flip. I don't even know if this one will fit on there. Okay, wait. Ah, that's what they did. Okay, so you need a small one for the middle, like the day of the week number. What is that? Date. Okay, it still kind of turns. I guess the way to avoid that would be to do two. But it doesn't turn as bad. But if y'all know, let me know. Obviously, I'm not going to be like moving it this much and thinking the beginning of the day. If I, um, once I have it flipped, it'll be fine. Actually, I don't know because it's turning again. You guys, we went to Bojangles. My mom has the best perks of working with your mom. I didn't have to drive to school today, and she took me in the middle of the work day, it's 10.45 a.m., to get a biscuit and some Coke so I can get some energy. Um, I also buy Dollar Journal to get some like mounting things and some like stronger tape. And so we're gonna try and re-put those little cardstock things up on my cabinets when we get back. I just finished eating my biscuit from Bojangles. Um, it's freezing in my room, but unfortunately my hot glue gun, you need the small glue sticks and Dollar General only had the big ones. So I did, I did prepare for this just in case. And since it's like those cabinets, I just got packaging tape and I feel like this will work. Like it's heavy duty, extra thick. I think this will work. I'm just bummed because that took, I mean, it didn't take a long time, but I mean, that was precious time and it just fell. And I'm gonna have to take all those off too to like retape them, you know? Well, I don't know actually because, well now I'm like, man, I should just wait till I get my hot glue done because then I can just go on the corners of where they already are and do that. Now I can't get this. I may just do that or right now go through and just put a piece of this on, at the top of all of them until I get the hot glue because I'm gonna have to order that or something because I don't even know. But, well, I got this. So I think that's gonna be my project right now. I'm just feeling like so tired and unmotivated to do anything. And that's, I mean, that's not typical for me like during classroom setup, I think I'm just exhausted and I just, just wearing on me. <laughs> and so 
I really, today, I'm going to make a list of things I would definitely want to get done today. I want to figure that out. I See, the thing is, I have to use masking tape on my walls. And so I can't do my alphabet with that masking tape or they'll all fall down. So I'm going to have to get like very strong masking tape. So I may just put an Amazon order and hopefully it'll come tomorrow or something. So I can get that. Um, so I need to do that now. But my desk area typically just uses command hooks and stuff. So hopefully I have enough command hooks to do my desk and we'll see. I just don't, the only reason I'm hesitate, I'm, blah, blah, I'm hesitant is because I'm going to do like a fake bulletin board here and on the other end of my room, like behind this. And it's like, I'll have to tape that up and I have to use masking tape again. So it's like, do I want to waste the time now doing that for it to fall down and me have to redo it tomorrow? But this bulletin board stayed like pretty good. We put a bunch of masking tape on it. So I may go see if there's any different types of masking tape in the office. And then if there's not, I may go ahead and do the bulletin board borders and like place all the other things with command hooks in it. And worst case scenario, falls down and I'll just redo the border part, but I won't have to do the, redo the other parts. You know what I mean? So let's go do that. Well, I got them all back up there except for two of them because the little clothespin thingies fell off when they fell off. So I'm missing one right there and then one right there. So it looks so weird without those two. Um, but I do love this little area. Um, and I'm hoping this packaging tape works so that I don't have to redo it, but we're going to go ahead and go right on in to doing this area. I'm going to figure out what kind of bulletin border I want, and we're just going to use the packaging tape and a bunch of it. All right. I taped the bottom one and then I was like, I'm sure to do two pieces of masking tape on the ends to put it up there just to kind of see if I like it because I wasn't sure if I would. And I still can't tell. I guess I need to figure out what I'm going to put there first. I feel like it goes with the room really well, especially since I have my popsicles there. I just can't decide if I want to do that or just like this white. This. I can't decide. And I don't know how to determine. Um, I know I'm definitely putting that over here. So maybe I'll go ahead and do my desk one and see if I like like it and I want it to match. Um, okay, yeah, we'll do that. I am the most indecisive person. So I'm like, I probably will want them to match, but we're going to just do exactly what I did over there. Just put two pieces of tape at the end because like I said, I'm going to have to like remasking tape it tomorrow once I get the stronger kind. So I'm not going to like waste my time doing that, but let's see. what the finished product looks like that's like a little sound volume thing which like I can cover up because it doesn't work anymore that was for the projector I do I do like it now I'm trying to decide I'm just like I I don't know I don't know if that should be the exact same size as that so it looks like it's like you know symmetrical <laughs> or if it matters and I should just make this one even bigger and that way it's like I don't know I'll have other things down here this is coming along nicely I put my little crate thing up there to kind of hide that because I'll have a little succulent on there and then I just put my little thing that says you are so loved I really need to rewrite that <laughs> so you can see it and then my be still a no and then I have this pray more worry less it's going to go more towards the bottom and then i'm going to put some polaroids there and i'm waiting like i said for the masking tape so it kind of it kind of looks weird but i have decided also that i'm going to put this border over there as a bigger one and there is that we'll see if it ends up staying like that i have to get my mom's opinion so we'll see what she thinks 
and probably when I tape it, I'll put that border all the way since, since that one's all the way. I do want to use this border because I think it's so cute and it like, it, I mean, it does match the pastels. So I have this little whiteboard area. I'm thinking I could do it on here. And since they're popsicles, I wonder if there's like some cute little thing I could do. Like, I don't know, you know, like a pun or like something like that something like that to where it has the popsicles but probably can't think of anything if y'all can think of anything let me know but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this up there because I think that'd be cute I've done both sides. I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly with it yet, but I think it's so cute. Definitely adds to it. I'm gonna put my little letter board, or I think that's what it's called, um, up there. And with like a quote, I need to figure out what I'm gonna say on it first. But that's what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do now. All right, I may, I have like three of them. By the way, this is from um, Hobby Lobby last year. And I may just do two of them because it says, like, welcome to first grade. I don't know. I don't know what else I'd put down here unless I put, like, 2022. Hmm. Hmm. up there I think this is as straight as it's gonna get it looks pretty straight to me I'm just not gonna look at it too hard okay it says welcome to first grade I don't know you guys then I could put my little rainbow I have this rainbow garland thing that I'm like that would add something to that but also, I don't know if I love the glare. I wonder if my matte spray paint could uh, fix that. Oh gosh, I just ran into a box. We're just going to take a pause on that and just leave that for what it is right now. I'm going to go ahead. I got one hot glue stick. So I am going to go ahead and finish putting up the two that fell of these. And then I'm going to go around and hot glue the corners of those so that it'll stick for sure. I just went through and put the two on that had fallen off. And then I also went around and just like did little tiny hot glue dots um, just throughout the border and also like the corners of these. So I definitely think they're on for good now. Um, but I love this little area. My mom is not here to get me yet. So I'm going to put this right here in this area. I'm just using Oh, these, it come, it has like little hooks on the back and I'm just going to use command hooks to be on the safe side. All right, I have it up. I just have these and I think it's so cute. They'll see it all the time. And I'm going to put this little thing, I believe. Mm, no, actually I'm not because I need to put a sign there about like turning in your work because it's where the turnip bin is. I'm going to leave that open. I'll put this elsewhere. I could also go ahead and put this behind my desk. I'm not sure exactly where I'll put it, but I'm thinking like right here. Alrighty, I put it right there. I think it looks good. And then I'll have little posters right there too. So I think it looks great. Alrighty, you guys, that was day five of classroom setup. I hope you guys liked it. Come back for day six tomorrow. I'm having so much fun seeing this place like transform and get brighter every single day. So I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys later.